Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a vlog style chit chat, like fun, clean with me. And I have a really fun kids slash adult snack idea for you today. So let's hop on into the video. So before we start today's video, I want to share with you that today's video is in collaboration with my sweet friend Whitney here on YouTube. She has the most adorable channel. She has a lot of content, very similar to mine. She has all of the cleaning motivation. She's got all of the farmhouse decorations. Her front porch is one of my favorite things ever. I'm in love with all the farmhouse things that she has around her house and the way that she decorates and her personality is so adorable. You can't help but smile when you're watching one of Whitney's videos. She is so sweet. Again, thank you Whitney for collaborating with me on today's video. I have all of Whitney's information linked down below for you guys, including her video. So make sure you hop over to Whitney's channel Say hello, tell her that I sent you. Subscribe to her channel because her content is so good, you guys. Again, thanks to Whitney for collabing with me on today's video. Hi guys, like I mentioned, so this is gonna be a little bit different of, of a video here on my channel. Um, I'm doing like more like vlog style, like clean with me, showing you like just bits of like me talking and chit chatting with you, but then also cleaning, right? Usually I do like a voiceover, but in this video, I'm gonna chit chat with you a little bit. And the first thing I wanna chat with you about is fall decor. I know it's on everybody's minds. We're like towards the end of July now. And if you're a crazy fall fanatic like I am, like I am an insane fall person. It is my season, it's my birthday season. I get so into it. So anyway, I just jabbed myself in the throat. That was good. So let's chat fall decor real quick. Um, while I'm chatting about the fall decor, I'm going to insert some of my cleaning footage and hopefully you guys like this like style of like cleaning video. Anyway, so let's chit chat about fall decor. I am planning a fall decoration video for you guys and how I plan it all out. I've been seeing a lot of my friends here on YouTube doing this style of video and because I'm a crazy fall person, of course I wanna do it as well. I get a lot of questions in regards to my home decorations seasonally. So I want to be able to walk through that with you guys and how I plan everything out. I know a lot of my subscribers, a lot of my friends and family who struggle with decorating themselves, they kind of want that like handheld, like direction and instruction as to how to decorate your own home and how to make it look cozy. Um, I am going a totally different direction this fall and this Christmas, and I'm going to do more of a farmhousey look. Right now, my dining room for summer is very boho. I love it. It feels like an airy, like California, like like little bistro. It feels so cute right now for summer, but for fall, I'm a little bit concerned that it's going to be just a little too uh, cold, right? I'm looking for something that's warm and inviting and comfy and all of the warm colors and textures and things like that. And I will show you guys here in a minute what my shelves look like in my dining room right now and what my shelves look like in my living room right now because they are going to look very different. I'm, like I said, doing more of a farmhousey theme, including more um, farmhouse, maybe a little bit more like distressed items. Right now I would really consider my style to be like a boho farmhouse and sometimes even like industrial farmhouse. We do have a couple of industrial touches in the house, such as like, um, we've got like like iron pipe toilet paper holders and paper towel holders. We've got like the iron pipe um, curtain holders or like the curtain rods, I mean. So I definitely have this like a, a very distinct feel going on in the house, but it's very like modern and clean and there's not a whole lot on my walls. So when it comes to decorating my dining room shelves, for example, I am going to really warm it up. I'm gonna warm it up with a lot of like big signs and mirrors and things like that. So I'm super excited to put that video together for you guys, kind of talking about the way that I will plan out my decorations and how I will budget it out, how I stay on budget. Um, I've already kind of started shopping and the Dollar Tree has lots of fun fall stuff out already. I use a lot of Pinterest inspiration, etc., for my fall decor, but anyways, that is coming for you guys next Monday or Tuesday. I'm super excited to share that video with you guys. Um, it is one of, like I said, one of my favorite seasons and one of my most asked like decoration um, seasons, like how I scent my home, like what scents do I like to use for essential oils or Bath and Body Works. 
um, where I get my decorations, how I come up with the ideas for my decorations. So stay tuned for that video coming at you guys next week. All right, so as you can see, my house is an absolute disaster. There is so much going on right now. I am in and out of the house all the time. Like, for example, this week I'm here through Wednesday and then I'm gone the rest of the week because I'm going to be at the lake cabin celebrating my husband's birthday. Um, we've been in town for the past couple of weekends, which is really unusual for us in the, in the summertime and we've gotten a lot done. Um, but my house is just, it's always a disaster. Mike and I are always laughing because I literally clean, clean or I, you, I literally record cleaning videos for you guys. like two to three times a week. It is pretty intense and it's a lot of work and it, the house just seems to always be messy. Even though I'm always cleaning, I don't understand, but at least there is not an end to my content, right? I have plenty of things to record and it is fly season. I hate fly season. Like towards the middle to end of July, the flies get really bad here in Minnesota. The biting flies, the house flies, they're so annoying. I want to know what you guys do for your second half of the summer routine. Because for me, my summer routine changes just a little bit. The second half of the summer, I start to prepare for fall. I start to kind of get the itch to start doing some home decor stuff. I did just recently redo my front porch, which I'm so happy with and I will reveal to you guys at the end of this video. Um, my last video, you saw me in my day in the life. I was kind of showing you guys the things that I was doing outside, but I'm going to show you what the final reveal is here at the end of the video of my front porch. I'm super excited. It's just like a blank slate to work with. So when I come to fall, I can really cutesy it up and add some signs and pumpkins and like haystacks and corn stalks or whatever I feel in the mood for this fall. I have a nice clean slate to work with, with, with that new front porch. So I'm super excited to share that with you as well. All right. So now we're going to talk a little bit about those snacks. So here in the next few clips, you are going to see one of my new favorite, like rainy day, I would, I, one of my new favorite summer rainy day snack recipes. I saw this on Facebook. As soon as I saw this recipe on Facebook, I freaked out and I was like, oh my God, I need to do this. It just, you wait and see, it is so good. So I did a thing. And if you guys are over on my Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. I pulled this chest up from the basement because it's just like, it's sitting downstairs. I needed something to like set my stuff on up here until our media center is made. Um, and I hate it. I hate it. And this bad boy is so heavy and now I'm going to have to carry it back down to the basement. And I'm just not looking forward to it. I don't know why I did it. Why do I do this to myself? I asked Mike to help me last night and he's like, you got yourself into that mess. You can clean it up yourself. Oh, okay, so we need to carry this heavy guy back to the basement. Does anybody else do this? Please tell me I'm not the only one who does this because I don't want to run up and down the stairs 50 times a day. I'll just like pile it up. But this is like three days worth, guys. It, this, this is like the worst it's been in like a long time. <sighs> Please tell me I'm not the only one. Okay, time to, to clean. Oh my God, that monstrosity. Don't judge, okay? This is real life, real lazy mom life. Also that, these chips on the wall, yeah, that's from the gate and Riker, like pushing it down. Yeah, it's good. <laughs>
So sharing my snack of the day with you guys, I'm so excited to share this with you. I found this on Facebook, like I said, these are mini s'mores pies. Now I got these ready, like graham cracker crust, these mini ones from Target. They were $1.97 for a six pack. And then you just use Hershey bars. I did four little like rectangles per each pie tin. And then I just topped off the rest with marshmallows. I thought this was so fun for the kids, especially on a rainy day. You know, and if you don't have like a fire pit in your backyard and you're just craving some s'mores, this would be a really good idea. Or even in the middle of winter, this would be a really good idea. Just like all around, come on guys, when is s'mores not a good idea? I thought these were so cute and tiny, these mini pie Pie crusts just got me I think that they're so adorable but anyway so after you got them all put together you're just gonna hit broil on your oven once that's set to go I put these guys on my pizza stone and I broiled them for about three to five minutes until the tops look like this and then they're ready to go Three to five minutes is all that it takes, and these are melty and delicious. My kids love them. Riker says, yum, after every single bite. They're an absolute hit. Say hi. 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 Oh. Hi. No, 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 no. Say hello. Hello. Hi. Hello! So here in my essential oil diffuser, today I am diffusing Now Essential Oils Nature Shield. This is equivalent to the Young Living Thieves Oil. It's just the Now Essential Oils brand version of it. Um, also here is the final reveal of my front porch area. We swapped out the front porch like post and we completely replaced it with this cedar colored post and I did cedar colored mulch and I painted my front door to match the doors in my entryway, and I think that it looks so much nicer, you guys. The colors just pop so much more against the gray siding of our house. It's absolutely beautiful, and the cedar tones are perfect. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. I hope you enjoyed this more like vlog style, like clean with me. I, <laughs> my house is like totally a disaster and it smells like the salmon I cooked last night because mama did not do the dishes last night before bed. So stay tuned because on Sunday I have an organizational video coming for you guys, which I'm about to record right now and I'm not looking forward to. It is organizing my junk drawer. We're gonna organize my junk drawer, we're gonna organize my pantry, and it's not gonna be fun, but we're gonna get it done, right? We're gonna check it off the to-do list so that I can start fresh with the second half of my summer, feeling just a little bit more clean and organized, and it'll be easier for me to find things and all of the whatevers, so. And then like I said, I also have that plan for fall decorations with me coming out next Monday or Tuesday, so stay tuned for that as well. And again, thank you to Whitney for collabing with me on today's video. Make sure that you guys head over to her channel after you watch my video so that you can see all of her cleaning inspiration and her snack inspiration and decor and all of the cute things. I absolutely adore Whitney and I am so excited to be sharing her and her content with you guys today. All right, I will see you guys on Sunday for the junk drawer organization video. Wish me luck. Okay, bye guys.